Oh, why hello there. Good morning from Chiang Mai, Thailand. So I think is what they say. Today's gonna be a little special day. We're actually gonna go out and film a food vlog. We're gonna go find the best food in Chiang Mai, Thailand. All right, so we're at our first food destination of the day in Chiang Mai, Thailand. We're actually at Khao Soi. I think it's called Mei Sai, and I guess this place is extremely popular. I found it on Google. There's a huge line of people waiting and uh, very popular inside. This place is just uh, north of Miman. And uh, it's actually so popular, in fact, that they gave me this little tracker. So it's gonna hopefully vibrate when it's our turn, but there's a lot of people here, so I expect it's gonna be a bit, pretty long wait. Um, yeah. Water found this little uh, shop next door selling coffee and yogurt. Got little mini coconuts. Yeah. All right, so I made it inside. Uh, it wasn't that long of a wait, actually. It was probably like 15 to 20 minutes. We're inside Kalsoy Masai. Masai? Masai? If I pronounced that wrong, I'm very sorry. But uh, let's take a look at the menu real quick. Beef, pork, pork ball. Can't even pronounce that one, but looks good. All right, so here's our order written by water. We have the one plus one meal with a uh, Thai lemon tea and a Thai milk tea. Perfect. As I sit here and become a YouTuber and look into the mic instead of into the camera, I wonder what the hell I'm doing with my life. They just brought us our little, uh, I guess you could say toppings. This is typically what you'll throw on uh, on the khao soy, really liven up the dish. All right, so khao soy is basically this kind of curry uh, broth that's a little bit spicy. It has a little bit of that sweetness to it, but it has these, I, I want to say egg noodles with some crispy noodles on top, a little bit of uh, cilantro on there, and then chicken leg, and it's honestly my favorite dish in Thailand. I love the, the levels of flavor that it brings, especially when you add on these additional toppings, but I'm ready to dig in and take our first bite. Pickles here, pickled veggies, some of the shallots, a nice little squeeze of the lime. All up on there. You mix it up a little bit. All the noodles nice and coated with that delicious cow soy sauce. Dude, that, that is zesty. Got like a, I want to say it's probably a boiled chicken leg here. That's probably marinating in the cow soy sauce. Give that a go. Super tender chicken. This place got it going on, dude. Look at that goodness in there. Oh man. Chiang Mai has so many delicious khao soy places to offer. I mean, so far, none of the good places I've found online have let me down. This place is absolutely amazing. Little toppings if you'd like. Some chili sauce. Oh. Some dried chili. Looks like more dried chili stuff. Oh, god damn it. Oh, sh crap. Uh, sugar? Vinegar, maybe? And some peanuts. So if you want to change up the flavor a bit in your khao soy. For all the people wondering, yeah, Jake, you must like cow soy so much because you're a little soy boy. And guess what? If cow soy makes me a soy boy, so be it. I'm pr a proud soy boy. Cow soy boy. That was absolutely delicious. On my Oroi Mak Mak scale of uh, 1 to 10, I give that a solid 9 because it's just very, it was excellent. Not ex e excellent. What's your rating of cow soy Maasai on the Oroi Mak Mak scale, 1 to 10? 2? Just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Got me. Dude, it was so good. Nine. Nine? Yeah. Same. Yeah. Hold on, scooter. Anyways, we're at SP Chicken. I've never been here. Very famous for the rotisserie chicken. Uh, we're going to pop in. I'm not too full from the cow soy, which is nice. Uh, we're going to try some of the chicken out. What will it rate on my Oroi Mak Mak scale? I'm not sure. And for you non-Thai speakers, Oroi Mak Mak means very delicious. <laughs> All right, let's go check it out. My first time here. Ooh. All right, so we just sat down inside SB Chicken. Uh, it's not too full, but we're after uh, probably the, the crazy lunch hours. But let's take a look at the menu and see what they got. All right, so we went ahead and went with the uh, half roast chicken, spicy green papaya salad with a dried prawns, and uh, rice, and water. All 
All right, so we made it and uh, that was extremely fast. We sat down, ordered, got our food probably within three or four minutes. Uh, that's absolutely insane. I think it was about $3 for this half a chicken plate. We also ordered ourselves a little bit of a uh, papaya salad with the dried prawns on there. So a little side dish, it's like, I think it's like a dollar or something. Uh, white rice and uh, two, two types of sauce here. It looks like more of a Thai chili sauce right there, typical orange. And this one might be, I see some dried little baby prawns in there as well, maybe more garlicky. But... Whoa. Whoa, that's good. Chili, little vinegar, a little tangy hit of some citrus. Wow. That's a juicy. You want the, okay, take it all. Hey, you're the, take it all. Just take it, take it, take it. Okay. Go. Nice. Let's give it a go. Golly, Costco, you better sit down because SP chicken's coming for you. Great, tender, juicy chicken, not dried all on that rotisserie. These chickens are a little bit smaller, way smaller than the all-American Costco chickens, brother. But the, the skin, very light and still crispy, a lot of good flavor on that skin. Very tender meat. This little sauce I had, I don't even know what the hell is in there. I'm gonna have to ask them what's in here. Very tangy, citrusy sauce added on there, a little bit of spice and chili. Super good, wow. I know this doesn't look that appetizing, but I swear it is. <laughs> well, <clears throat> well, in my opinion, pretty standard taste. The tomato in here makes it a little bit different. Spice level is good. I can definitely taste the kind of seafoody prawn flavor in there, which I don't typically like that much personally. You might like it if you're into that. I like more of the citrusy, fruity uh, papaya style salads, but that's all right for a little refreshing snack, but the chicken is definitely where this place is uh, raising the bar here. Uh, I can see why it's called SP chicken and not SP papaya salad, even though salad's good, it's just not my favorite thing. I got more skin, baby. I need to find out what the heck is in this SP chicken crack sauce. This is so good. What is that? I think they'll tell me. Let's, let's go find out. Oh, sorry, Kat. Um, this sauce is very aroi mak mak. What, what, what's, what's inside? Vitamin. One, two, three, four. Was this chili powder? Chili. Rye powder. Rye powder? Fish sauce. Fish sauce? Lemon. Lemon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so the SP chicken, very delicious and reasonable. I think the total price there was 185 baht, which is about a little less than $6 US. On my Oroi Mak Mak scale out here in Thailand, I give it a, uh, you know, it's rotisserie chicken, can't go too crazy. The sauce leveled up for a quick, simple meal. I'd give that a solid eight, an eight out of 10 on the Oroi Mak Mak scale. Wawa, what do you think? 7.5. 7.5, that's fine. I mean, it's just- It's just chicken. Yeah, it's just, yeah, I get that. The sauce helped me a lot, but- it, I had better chicken. It's probably better chicken out there, but hey, it's good. Yeah, it's good enough. But... Worth a shot. Let's see if we can head to the next location on this Chiang Mai, Thailand, best of food tour, vlog, whatever, extraordinaire, whatever this is called, I don't know. Hope you guys are enjoying it though. What do they do on YouTube? Like, comment, say hi in the comments, oh, no, subscribe. One. Yeah, all that jazz. Yeah, thanks. Just a few spots that I found or that I frequent in Chiang Mai and I've looked up so many. It seems like there's a never ending list of amazing delicious food out here. But uh, I hope that I can share with you guys some delicious places that maybe you can try out on your travels to Chiang Mai. All right, so the next location on this little food excursion around Chiang Mai, Thailand, actually it's not a restaurant. It's actually a, uh, a coffee roastery, a cafe or whatever you want to call it. And it's actually called, I think it's called Roastery. I think it's just Roastery, but with an eight for the A. This one's the Roastery Lab. All right, so probably hear a lot of music there. Some music going on here. The vibes inside, very cool, and uh, the cafe is really nice. I'll show you guys that in a second, but we're gonna go ahead and just order, I think, the uh, World Championship Latte Art Latte here.
All right, so we got here right before they closed. They closed at 5 p.m., but we actually came here and met the owner. His name's Arnon. He actually did a really special latte art of uh, Feels Good Man. So check out that clip real quick right now. Don't mind, don't mind. Oh, I said China. <laughs> That's there it is. Whoa. Damn. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, it's my phone. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. You hear that music? So yeah, if you're in the Niman area uh, in Chiang Mai, you need a coffee. Roastery is a great place to go. They have three locations. Uh, coffee's always good. They put a lot of... I, I like when they put a little love and effort into it. I love uh, cafes where they roast their own beans as well. It's also next door to a place called Menefresto, I think is the name. That's like a little brunchy cafe where they actually have like really delicious fresh fruit smoothies and little like a uh, Western style brunch or breakfast that Water and I ate at a few times this trip as well. So if you're kind of craving that, right next door, right here is Menefresto. A great place for little smoothies or uh, Western style breakfast. Hmm. All right, so we're actually currently in my uh, favorite place in Chiang Mai. It's the area called Niman. It's uh, very busy, very active, but it's a really cool kind of young and trendy place. A lot of cool cafes and restaurants. But one honorable mention I wanted to give uh, during this video, it's actually a burger restaurant called Beast Burger. I tried it when I came to Chiang Mai for the first time a year ago and it was uh, surprisingly really good. Anyways, if you guys are in Chiang Mai, Thailand, uh, you're in the Niman area and you wanna catch a quick burger that's actually pretty dang good, check out Beast Burger, it was pretty good. Uh, again, the review will be up on my TikTok, I believe, so check that out. If you make your way along this little street right here, the famous braised pork leg on rice. You'll know when you get here because the picture will have the lady with the cowboy hat, but uh, this is it. Let's take a little gander, shall we? Hello. up they uh plating the rice putting the pickled veggies on there chopping up the pork and adding a soft boiled egg and here's the final masterpiece oh man what we found special we had is yesterday was this sauce they have on the table i don't know what the heck is going on with this thing it's like a citrusy tangy spicy your mouth watery waterfall of flavors that you can just kind of pour all over, but it tastes really good with the pork. But uh, let's go ahead and try it out. All right, we're gonna go for the first bite. Not the first bite? It's okay. You sure? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, go. All right, so I'm gonna take a little piece of this delicious, tender pork here. A little bit of that rice. In fact, let me just scoop it up. Some of that oh, rice. you have a food coma looking at this. Some of the egg on there. The egg's really good. There you have it. You know, if you get more airflow into your nasal passages, you'll feel the, the full range of flavors better. Come on. Just eat. Water is not amused. The first thing you think about is uh, has a little bit of that sweet flavor um, on on the pork, but with that sauce, it really changes up a lot. But it has that little tangy, sour but spicy kind of uh, sauce on on the pork, which totally changes the flavor, makes it more dynamic. Can you sauce me up real quick. Give me a little extra sauce on there. Yeah, just get it right. That was like a few drops. A little bit. More? Yeah, go crazy. Oh, yeah. Go crazy? No, 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 not that crazy. So you can see how tender the pork is just pulling it apart. So delicious. Look at that. Of course, we got to give a shout out to the legend out here who's done a lot of content in Thailand. Uh, a lot of food content. Big inspiration I've watched for a very long time, even before I ever started making any content. I'm not a food vlogger I would like to be, but uh, here's my uh, appreciation clip from Mr. Markle, Buck, Mark, 
wings. Oh, wow. Oh, mmm. <laughs> what, pretty good? What's a horror movie called? Horror movie? It's a horror movie? It's, a, it's about to change. The Exorcist. The girl in the bed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. So I'm, I'm possessed. Right. No, that was just a tribute to Mr. Mark Weems. Okay. Nice try. Alright, well, let me know what you think about my Mark Weems impression in the comments below. <laughs> oh, that's so cringe. I can't say that. But seriously, let me know. If I do have any negative about this place, occasionally you get the little whiff, the little waft of, um, Thai sewer smell, which is just trying to ignore it. Whenever you get the whop of the sewer smell, just do yourself a favor. Take this god sauce and that's whip of that. Save yourself a lot, of, a lot of headache, trust me. All right, I got an exclusive interview with the cowboy hat lady actually here with the delicious pork leg rice. Uh, Sadika. Sadika. So, uh, what's your name, by the way? Joy. Joy? Joy. Nice to meet you. I'm Jake. Nice and you your pork. Yeah. On the rice is Oroi Mac Mac. So good. So I have to ask, why the cowboy hat? Oh, you, you can say Thai, I can translate. Thai, oh. Sabu, five months of Thai. Okay. All right. I think she said uh, people just notice it when she's chopping the pork. Very cool. Well, anyways, I love your food. I came two days in a row. Very Oroi Mac Mac. So, thank you so much. Thank you. Yo, is this guy wearing the same thing as me? What the heck? It's like a. What the? You see this? Wait, show me, show, show <laughs> so me real funny. quick, show me real quick. This is so funny. Oh, I'm not wearing my black shorts though. Oh, close one. Dude, it's the same. Quick review of that. Honestly, amazing flavors all coming together on that plate very well. From the a little bit sweet, very tender, juicy pork leg with that tangy, spicy sauce you can put on top with the rice, that soft boiled egg that kind of ties things together, adds a little bit of creaminess, and the pickled veggies add a little bit of an extra layer of flavor. On my Oroi Makmak scale out here in Thailand, easily a solid, I give it an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Wawa, what would you give that on the uh, Oroi Makmak scale out here on 1 to 10? I would give it 8.5. 8.5, all right. No, I think the environment is a little stinky. Yeah, Can a little be? stinky. Yeah, if it wasn't so stinky, it might have gone up of, uh, maybe a tenth of a yeah. point. All right, well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog of Chiang Mai's best food. All right, that was a little bit of a clickbait title. To be honest, we just went to a couple places in Chiang Mai that served up some very delicious food. There is an unlimited amount of options out here of delicious food from my favorite cow soy to this pork rice. They have uh, all sorts of delicious food that we didn't see on this video, but from the delicious cow soy we had earlier to the little delicious roasted rotisserie chicken and to a nice little cup of coffee and to this delicious pork leg on rice. Uh, it was a fun little day. Everybody take care. Have a good one. See you later from Chiang Mai, Thailand. Today was an amazing Oroi Mac Mac day and I hope to see you guys on the next YouTube video. Take care.